this. I'm not about to get cute to clean, to get sweaty and to shower all over again, right? I mean, just keeping it real. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, What's Up Yellow, back with another video from my bed. So if you're wondering why I'm here, it's because we're gonna start in here. I'm gonna give you a little bit of background about this surgery, and then you guys are gonna come clean with me. Yes, if you're wondering. I washed my face, brushed my teeth, showered last night. I look a hot mess, but I mean, hey, it is what it is. I'm not about to get cute to clean, to get sweaty, and shower all over again, right? I mean, just keeping it real. So I do breastfeed my child, and because I am nursing, I end up getting a clogged duct that resulted in an infection. They just kept filling with milk and had no way to escape. Milk went bad and pretty much I have the size of an apple lump by my chest. You can't really tell because of the bra. It is there, it is very painful. I have had it drained now two times. At first I was told it was breast cancer. It's just been a crazy ride, needless to say, after numerous breast ultrasounds and draining and the fluid being tested in antibiotics and blah, blah, blah. We found out that pretty much it's just an infection. Duck. I have been taking antibiotic. First round didn't help at all, so she has prescribed me a second one that is supposed to be stronger, and they tested that antibiotic with the specimen, and they saw that it reacted to it. So they put me on that and told me if it refilled, come back and I would get the surgery. The surgery is supposed to be this upcoming Wednesday. It is now Monday morning. That's just a little bit of background about it. If you guys want to know more, comment down below. I will make another video and explain everything in further detail. To make life easier on myself, I'm going to go ahead and clean the apartment, go grocery shopping, do everything that needs to be done before for the surgery. I'm so sorry if you guys hear the background noise of Peppa Pig. My daughter's currently watching that. That's her favorite cartoon at the moment. It's not keeping her content right now. She's starting to fuss, but uh, I wanted to take you guys along with me on the cleaning journey. I personally like watching cleaning videos, so I mean, it could be a thing. You guys like it, you guys wanna see more, let me know. But without further ado, let's start on this room. Now we all know a clean room ain't a clean room without some clean sheets, all right? So over here, y'all see me taking out this bedding because I'm getting ready to put it in the wash. I figured while it's in the wash, I could take care of everything else in the room that needed to be cleaned and dusted and just taken care of. Wait till y'all see this mirror. It is awful. Now, you know when you're doing your laundry, you got to use the good shit. You got to either have tired or gain. It's just a must. And let me add these downy unstoppables, child, it'll really have your stuff smelling great. They wasn't lying on that commercial. Y'all, do not judge me, okay, for using the pet line of Febreze's furniture spray, but I love it. I love to spray it all over my mattress and my pillows and my couch. It eliminates fabric orders instantly. Not saying that there is an odor, but it just makes you feel like things are truly clean. Now this mirror, I already knew it needed to be clean. I could see the dust and fingerprints from laying back on my bed as I watched TV at night. So I knew that this needed to be done. But I didn't know it was going to be this bad, y'all. Like, really? Oh, and this TV, y'all would not believe the amount of streaks and fingerprints and dust I found on this thing while cleaning it. I knew it was bad because I could see the glare from certain angles whenever I would watch TV, but I didn't know it was this bad. Look at the TV, you can see it getting better as I'm wiping it away. Same thing over here. This thing was so doggone dusty. And you know, I should have vacuumed and then dusted afterwards because when you vacuum, it can fling dust up in the air and land right back on what you just cleaned. But in my defense, I mean, you know, I didn't see no dust out on anything I cleaned afterwards. So, I mean, hey. Now, y'all know us black people got to goop and glob up and season up everything. You season your chicken, you got to season that carpet too, boo. So, here I am seasoning my carpet. Well, I do suffer from OCD, but outside of that... I feel like you have to be a perfectionist while vacuuming. You've got to get those crisp, nice, clean lines. If you don't, you vacuuming wrong, boo. Look at this. Perfection. All this vacuuming and moving around got your girl hot, baby. I need some water, okay? 
I chugged that so quick, I was so thirsty. Back to business. Now, I don't know about y'all, but my nightstand needed cleaning, okay? Really take everything off, not only to remove the dust, but there's rings from the bottom of my cups and mugs and water bottles that I place on there throughout the night. It was a little sticky from my snacks. Like, I put everything on this thing, okay? So that way I got to move out the bed when it's time to put on a good movie. Had to make sure I got this good. You can never go wrong keeping a good book on your nightstand. I currently am reading the Bible, but I do find reading before bed is a nice way to detox your mind after a long day. And wash is done, time for the next load. Season that carpet, boo. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell, but I am busting a sweat already. The girl is getting hot. This is exactly why I didn't shower before doing this. Now, I don't know how y'all like to clean, but what I prefer to do is go in with my cleaning solution, spray down my walls and the tub, let it sit and marinate, and then go in and scrub with my brush. That helps break up the grime and the scum around the tub, so that way you don't have to scrub so hard. Now, as y'all will see, I end up breaking a sweat still because I personally go around and scrub around every square to make sure my tub is as clean as can be. So, yes, your girl was breaking a sweat. I could have sworn I just heard Liv, but no, nah, she sleep. And this right here, baby, that's how you clean a tub. You know, all too often, people do not clean properly. They wipe down surfaces that you can physically see. When you are cleaning your toilet, do not just do the bowl. Clean your toilet bowl and disinfect the seat as well. Wipe down your handle. And most importantly, the step that everybody forgets, the side of your toilet. So for me, this area really wasn't messy because I brush my teeth in the shower and I do my makeup in my room. So I really just needed to wipe down this area with disinfectant and wipe down my mirrors. In this clip, I do not go in and show you guys me using the Swiffer wet jet to clean the floors, but I do go back after I use the Swiffer wet jet on the kitchen floors. But for right now, shake out them rugs and sweep, girl. I'm someone who cleans as I go, so my kitchen wasn't that much of a mess. I just had a plate that got left out from a snack I was eating before filming, and some stuff out to make live a bottle. Now it's time to wipe down the counters and take care of this microwave that has spaghetti splattered all over the inside of it. But it looks gorgeous when I'm done. See? And I sweep, sweep, sweep. Mop, mop, mop. Well, this thing is gross. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. And she's up. So I put her in her boppy and I turned on some cartoons for her to watch to keep her content while I was cleaning. She honestly wasn't too big of a fan of the vacuuming, but once I turned it off, she was fine. There was just a few times, as you'll see, where I had to cater to her. She's getting a little fussy. But for the most part, she really did well. She enjoyed watching me move around and putting everything back and all the movement. Maybe it's just the woman thing, but we all know the final touch to cleaning, that last step when you're all done before you kick back and relax and enjoy a movie and your wine is to light those candles. So this is just a recap of each room, all clean, back to normal. The rugs are washed and fluffed out again. They're not all matted down after you get a shower. Those throw blankets are all clean. That office space is spotless. That kitchen candle is lit with clean floors and countertops. You could eat off the floor if you wanted to. This girl is pooped, okay? I have been cleaning all day. It is now 7.30 at night. I hope y'all enjoyed watching this video. Your girl is about to go get in the freaking shower. You know, if I wasn't breastfeeding, a bubble bath and a glass of wine. So. Back though right now, but that concludes the end of this video, you guys. I hope you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Y'all already know the deal. We try to get the girl monetized. I hope you guys enjoyed. I got more videos coming. Stay tuned till next video. Bye. Bye.